does the VFL grand final compare in terms of intensity of your football career? Um, well, the, the grand final last year was as close to an AFL match as I've ever experienced. It was um, it was tough, it was fast, skillful. Um, the atmosphere of the crowd, uh, obviously a lot of Geelong people came and, and added to that. Um, yeah, look, it's as, as close as you can possibly get. Um, that's why I guess both Praddy and myself are still playing this level of footy because we're, we're addicted to playing as high a level as possible. Um, it's such an enjoyable experience to uh, play against listed players and most of all to play with, play with young kids who you can see improving each week. Uh, and also the VFL listed guys who are just so hungry and driven just to get the opportunity to uh, to test themselves against against those teams. Do you think Cats are a better a better team this year, right? <clears throat> uh, oh no! Look, it's really hard to compare, Paul. From a VFL listed side of things, I feel as though we're a little bit deeper. Um, we we really early on in the season had to rely on our VFL list to really help us set up our season, um, and that that worked really well for us, got some, some great exposure for, for some young guys who'd only played five to ten VFL games and they held up against some big sides. Um, look again, the the spots in our senior team have been so tight that maybe some kids both within Box Hill and, and Geelong could have been playing on in AFL teams elsewhere, but they've been able to get that continuity at VFL level and, and that has improved individuals but also maybe the team. Uh, we've been able to spend maybe 20, 30 games together now. Um, but really hard to compare whether this year's side is better than last year's. Probably been more consistent throughout the course of the year, no doubt. You've got a strong VFL list, Troy. Um, any of those lads that you, you consider draft prospect? Oh, look, the first one that comes to mind is Matt Sully. Uh, he's been fantastic for us all year. Uh, we had big shoes to fill with Andrew McLean stepping aside last year as a key defensive post. and. And Matt Scott, Sully so just had some great scalps throughout the year and, and gone about his business uh, very well. Um, using the ball really well at the moment too when he gets it in his hands, but uh, just doesn't seem to get beaten one on one. We, we've got a number of guys that um, would, I would have loved to have seen on AFL list throughout the years. Uh, Mark Corrigan comes to mind as a guy, probably a little bit too old now. Don Gleeson obviously has been a champion of the VFL competition for a number of years. Pierce Flanagan had some really good games throughout the year. and, and at, yeah, at times you probably thought, I hope he gets another opportunity at the next level. Um, but look, they, they really enjoy their time on the VFL list and, um, and hopefully we can hold on to a lot of them going forward.